Hey guys, welcome back to Teen Cooking 101. Today we are going to be making a basic hard boiled egg. So you start with your bowl of water, cold water, that's very important. So you put your eggs in your cold water and then you put it on your oven eye. Like I said this one before, it runs a little cold so I've had to turn mine all the way up to warm to high to get it to actually to boil the water and we are going to get the water boiling and then that's where all the magic will happen. So we'll come back as soon as this water is boiling. Okay, so I have a small rolling boil going, which is where you will see little air bubbles and when one floats to the top, another one comes, but it's not big bubbles, it's just little ones. And that is fine for what we're doing. If you get, if you get big bubbles, that's fine too, but I've got little bubbles, I'm perfectly fine with that. So what you're gonna do is you're going to turn the heat off. You are going to put a lid on and you're going to leave them alone for 12 minutes. And then after 12 minutes, they will be fully cooked, hard boiled eggs. So, see you in 12 minutes. So while these are finishing the cooking, let's talk a little bit what you can do with hard boiled eggs. So with boiling, you have soft, medium, and hard. I have done hard boiled eggs. That means that the, ro the yolk is solid. So the yellow part of the egg, completely solid. You can do a lot with a hard boiled egg. You can eat it straight. They're a great source of energy and protein. You can have them as part of a salad. You can make deviled eggs with them. There's just, there's a lot of different stuff that you can do. With medium boiled eggs and soft boiled eggs, you're pretty much, you're gonna, you're gonna eat them straight. You're, you're gonna add a little salt and a little pepper to them and you're gonna eat them at, like on toast or just, you know, have you ever seen, in Britain, they have this cute little egg holder and they pop the top of the egg off and they just eat it straight out of the shell. You do that with a soft boiled egg. We are getting close to being done and then we'll see how they look. Now that our 12 minute eggs are done, we are going to carefully take them off and scoop them out. Now, these eggs will be warm. So be careful while you're scooping them out. So all you have to do now is you can let them cool for a little while and then you'll want to peel them. I'm going to see if I can if I can do it now if it's still too warm. Yeah, they're not bad. So to peel them is pretty simple. Take your egg. I do recommend wrapping it in a paper towel just because you're going to get small flakes and you'll get, a, you'll get eggshell everywhere. Just don't do it. And you just press. Did you hear it? Now. The egg itself is still very, very warm, so that's all you do is you just start peeling and it should peel off in decent sections like this one did. And from here you can put it in the fridge, you can scoop out the yolk and make deviled eggs, you can eat it raw, just you know straight, no salt, no pepper, just as it is. Don't eat raw eggs. And that, that's it. That's how you make quick 12 minute deviled eggs. I do recommend letting it cool a little bit because it will burn your fingers. Well, thanks for joining me today and I hope to see you guys again real soon. Bye.